Okay, this video is how to create vertical tabs like this. Again, I'm back on the W3Schools webpage at this specific web address. And I am going to go step by step by adding the HTML, then the CSS and the JavaScript. So I'm going to go to Dreamweaver. I'm going to create a new document. going to save it right away my USB art 116 my name folder and I'll call this tabs demo 2 and save back to the w3 schools I am going to select all the HTML. Again, step one, add the HTML. So I'm going to copy div to div and I'm going to go edit copy. Go back to Dreamweaver. Okay, I'm going to flip to design view. Somehow I ended up in live view. I'm going to click after the beginning of the body tag and I'm going to paste that HTML in there. I'm going to next add the CSS. I'm going to grab all the CSS all the way to the bracket. I'm going to go edit, copy, move that web page out of the way. I'm going to add the CSS to the head of the document. Okay. Open up my CSS designer. I'm going to add define and page. I'm going to paste the CSS between the beginning and end of the style tag. So in between, edit paste. Okay, it's not looking real great in design view right now, but I'm not going to worry about that yet. Go back to the W3 school. I'm going to grab all the JavaScript, being careful to grab everything, edit, copy, move it out of the way. I need to put the JavaScript at the end of the div, the final div, and before the beginning of the end of the body tag. So right here, I'm going to type out caret script, caret I've got the end in there as well, the end of the script tag. I'm going to hit the return key, put my cursor between the beginning and end, and edit paste. I'm going to go ahead and preview on the web. Save. looks a little bit funky in preview mode. Okay, this is kind of just the end of this document. Uh, what I did is I didn't like how it was displaying in my um, preview mode. So what I did was I went back to the CSS. I, so what I did was I went back to the W3 school. Instead of copying this JavaScript, I actually went down here to the complete HTML document and I went all the way to the bottom and I copied this script code instead of the one that was in the step-by-step. -step. I copied it, got rid of the one that I had in Dreamweaver originally and pasted it and it actually displays much better. So there's some difference between the script that is in the step-by-step -step and the script that's actually down here. So this time I'll go ahead and preview again. And it displays much better. Okay. Again, this time I will go ahead and wrap these tabs in a div. So I'm going, nope, I'm going to grab after the body tag the div all the way down to the bottom. 
oops, I don't want the script tag. So right here, I'm going to go insert div, I'll call it my tabs vertical and say okay. I'm going to open up my CSS designer. I guess it's open somewhere down here. It's down here. I'm going to add that selector. I'm going to go to the width properties in layout. I'm going to change the width to 700. I'm going to go ahead and preview. Looking better. I could change the CSS code if I want to. The styling for the tab is here. I'm not going to go through that again, but it's very similar to the last two demos. Okay, you could change the styling of the content area. I could change the text of the tabs instead of London, I could make it something else. I could change Paris to something else by simply typing over it, Tokyo to something else. I could change the H3, which is right here, that text to something else, just an example. Cat changes it there. I could add a sentence. This is about my cat blah 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 again you could change it to whatever you wanted it to be Paris if you flip to Paris you could change oops I need to be in all right sorry about that back to here instead of Paris I could change that to dog Okay. I have to come back up here and do the button as well. Dog, got to remember to do all, not only the content, but also the tab information. Oh, where am I? Back at the CSS code. Sometimes it, I notice that Dreamweaver kind of flips you around the code. Instead of Tokyo up here, I'm going to change it to fish. change the h3 to fish okay if I wanted to add a paragraph I could change that as well I could change this text and if I want this paragraph tag I could actually add it after the h3 here under fish fish and I could change the text to whatever I want it to be Go ahead and preview on the web again. Fish, XXX, dog, obviously I could change the text, and so forth. Now, if I wanted to integrate this into a web page, I'd want to make sure that I'm obviously copying the CSS code, and I'm taking this div information and the script and adding it to my next page. Actually, it looks like I've got two script tags down here. <clears throat> 